Next Front Row Phil is a country artist well known for her unique sound and unwavering honesty when it comes to her music. Her groundbreaking talent has landed her on the top of the iTunes All Genre Chart, Sirius XM's The Highway Hot 30 Weekend Countdown, and led her to being nominated for ACM Best New Female Artist in 2022. Welcome, Lily Rose, and thank you hey. for joining us. Hey, that's wild when you list them all together like that. Crazy. What a it, year. It, man. And let's talk about just this week. CMAs, BMI. Oh, yeah. I it's, mean, and then, I mean, after the CMAs got on a bus and headlining run. That's why right? we're here in Chicago. Okay, let's talk about the year. Okay. Yeah. Nomination for Best New Female Artist at the ACM's uh, Breakthrough Artist at the GLADS. We're all the pinch me moment, right? Yeah, big time. I mean, right? the ACMs, it was my first award show to be nominated was just absurd, but sitting there alongside so many people I've looked up to that are the reason I'm in country music was, was humbling. And then the GLAD Awards, you know, it was a big win for country music. So do you remember when you got the call that you were nominated for ACMs? Oh my gosh, yes. I was in San Francisco. We were on our like sixth or seventh week out with Chris Lane and I, uh, we were on the you know, Pacific Coast time, so it was super early, but oh. I knew that my management was gonna, gonna call me with a yes or a no. Okay. Around 7 a.m., and uh, it actually came out on the internet, and like we saw it at seven in the morning, crying, calling my mom and dad, it was amazing. So how was Tortuga? Oh, Tortuga, I mean, there are also not many festivals. You get to just look out at a beach with 2,000 people in front of you at, at that stage, so it was really cool. So how do you mentally prepare for getting up there and you see massive amounts of people. I mean, there's got to be a difference in performing at a venue versus outside festival, isn't there? Yeah, no, for sure. You know, every single show, there are different tiers that are, we have been so grateful that we're out with Chris Lane this year, Sam yeah. Hunt, now we're out with Dylan Scott. Yeah. We're also going to do headlining shows like this. Yeah. Seems like a different job sometimes. Headlining shows, these people are going to sing every word to my entire catalog tonight. And when you're out at a festival, that's your opportunity as a new artist to really be like, hey, next time I come to your city, you should buy a headlining ticket. Right. So to play for all of those people at festivals, uh, it's really, really valuable to your career, and yeah. I don't overlook that at all. So the first time you heard your song <laughs> on the radio, do you remember where you were? Well, yeah, so <laughs> Sirius XM, I at least knew that one was coming. Okay. So oh, they tell you how to they, Yeah, okay. the, most of the time, it's yeah. especially if you're, it's your debut, they're kind of like, hey, it's going to be in this hour. So most of the, you're just sitting in a car waiting to hear it. Okay. That never gets old because if you're debuting on Sirius XM, right. it's, That's a, it's, huge. it's huge. Yeah. But uh, I remember I'm from Atlanta and my Atlanta FM stations were playing the living daylights out of Villain. Oh my god. And gosh. we had just played an Atlanta headlining show and we were getting in the car back to Nashville, stop for gas, and all of a sudden I heard, hey, what's up, Atlanta? It's your girl, and I was like, who is that? And I was like, it's, it's your girl, Lily Rose, it's my new song, Villain. <laughs> and we all looked at each other and we were like, ah! So that was cool, because it was just so unexpected. That's such a great moment, yeah. oh my gosh. You know, how did you find your unique sound? Because your sound is, so, I love it. It's that splash of R&B with a little twist of, you know, hip hop, and then you throw in the classic country, and you yep. got Lily Rose is yep. what you got. Yeah, I'm super grateful. You know, I've now only lived in three cities my whole life. Grew up in Atlanta, went to college in Athens, Georgia. Oh, We're okay. R.E.M., B-52s, Corey Smith, Brantley Gilbert, all, you know, widespread panic. It's a melting pot there. And then Nashville, I've grown up in the three southern hotbeds of music. Right. And uh, I've just, all the influence has just really come together and I have a producer Joey Moy that not only respects where the direction I want to go we head towards but he also challenges me creatively and it's just a tribute to all of my all my icons coming together as one. You know? Do you ever think about if you didn't go into this business what would you have gone into? So really glad you asked that. Yeah. Nobody's ever asked me that really? before so like yes. Um, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> About three months before I moved up to Nashville, I had been refereeing high school basketball for a long time and okay. also uh, not collegiate basketball, but like the next in between high school and collegiate yeah. basketball, club basketball. And uh, the NBA folks had like kind of seen me and there was this thing of like, do I keep chasing that? Do I become an NBA official? If that's the goal, you get a record deal or, you know, NBA official. Yeah. I chose Nashville. I think I chose the right one. I but. think so, too. Well, 
Miss Lily Rose, I thank you so much for You're joining us. You are the best. It's so nice to finally meet you, too. I know, seriously. you too. And we cannot wait for tonight's show. It's going to be fun. Live from Joe's Live, it's from Rob Billet. Go, dogs, baby, let's